Well, Am I ready? Well, now that you've got a year under your belt being a skipper, how do you feel like you're fitting into that role? And oh, it feels good. Uh, it's it's uh, it's it's great to be back in Peoria and the uh, Midwest League. Uh, I think this is an outstanding league, and um, yeah, I'd say uh, having a full season under my belt has made a big difference uh, for myself this year. And uh, um, I, I kind of know what uh, what I'm supposed to do and what my job is, and uh, that makes it uh, that makes it uh, a lot more fun coming to the ballpark. And uh, I have a lot of confidence uh, from that. What's that transition been like? I know we talked to you last year, and you were saying you know you kind of even missed playing a little bit still, and so now that you know you have that year, has that transition been smooth for you? It has been smooth, and I think that's one of the things that uh, that might surprise me a little bit is uh, <clears throat> uh, just uh, just how well I have taken. Uh, to this and uh, and the fun that I'm having, uh, it's fun to come to the ballpark every day. It's uh, it's a challenge. Um, it's uh, it's very rewarding uh, when things uh, go well, and uh, when things need to be worked on. Um, you know, it's kind of fun to figure that out and uh, and just get the guys working on things uh, to improve, not only as individuals but uh, but as a team. What's the biggest thing you have learned in the past year? Well, just just uh, just what this job entails. Uh, there's a lot to it. Um, this job at the major league level, you, there's a lot of help. There's a hitting coach. There's a base running coach. Outfield. Uh, there's there's more there's more eyes on the field, and uh, you know I have to really st uh, stay on top of things and uh, and really watch the game and and really in a lot of ways uh, I'm like five coaches and a and a manager at this level. Although I do have you know excellent pitching coach and hitting coach and and, and a lot of help, but um, you know, a lot of it, uh, a lot of it's my responsibility um, to make sure that uh, we do things correctly and, and kind of keep on tabs with the guys uh, so that they're working on things that uh, that enables them to move up the ladder. Does that help you then push forward into becoming a better manager quicker because you, you have so many more responsibilities than if you were at maybe a, a double A AA or triple A level right now? Uh, it's a similar situation at those levels, uh, really. Um, you know, I think all in all, I think just managing is managing uh, in the minor leagues. I, I don't know that there's a, a huge difference, uh, but you know, I think this is a good place uh, for me to be uh, last year and this year, uh, just for the experience. Ryan, with the players you have this year, what is your managing style like in terms of how you run the game, aggressive? No, just whatever the situation calls for, uh, wh whatever talent uh, we have on the team, who, uh, who's on base, uh, who's at the plate, all those things are figured out or figured into it. And I don't think it's any one style. It's just uh, what um, what my gut says uh, we should do right now to, to uh, try and win a ball game. I know Vitters is maybe a little banged up right now, but what have you seen from him so far in terms of his tools that made him that number one pick last year? Uh, he's he's got some uh, some sock in his bat, and uh, he's got some good power uh, uh, from the right side. And uh, when he does make contact, uh, he's still a young player, and uh, he has a lot to learn, obviously. But um, you know, he has a good arm. Uh, he can play some third base, and uh, and has uh, has some good uh, some good power with his bat. Since it's a Cardinal Cup week, and it's almost been 25 years since that two home run game you had on a Saturday against St. Louis. Was that the game that really put you on the map as a player, do you think? Uh, people say that. Uh, I think it gave me a boost uh, as far as my career goes on what uh, what type of player I could be. And you know, that was my third year in the major leagues. I was still a young player at 24. And to uh, to have a game like that and then have the exposure and have people talk about it uh, was kind of a, a, kind of a thing that uh, I kind of put on myself that, wow, you know, I, I need to live up to this now for the next... <laughs> 12, 14 years, the rest of my career. So I think that's kind of what happened, and um, it was always uh, it was always fun and uh, challenging playing against the Cardinals. Always a good atmosphere uh, anytime the Cubs cards uh, get together. And uh, so yeah, this will be a big weekend in St. Louis. You said you're having a lot of fun just you know managing right now, doing what you're doing. And what's it like when you you're going to these parks and you're having so many fans that are coming out, maybe just to see you or holding up their signs and rooting on you? Well, you know what? Uh, that's kind of been the case since since 1984 with the Cubs fans that are everywhere, and so I, I've gotten used to that. And um, I think if it wasn't that way in in some places, I think something was wrong. So uh, you know that that's the way that it was uh, for for us Cubbies wherever we went, and 
And so this is the Midwest League. A lot of Cubs fans uh, in this in this league. So they do come out and watch us, and uh, it's just it's just uh, become part of my routine to give them some attention and uh, and sign some autographs, uh, no matter where we're at. Any hints when we might see uh, the local guy Blackford this weekend? Uh, I don't know right now. Well, we have to see how the games go, but we just got him, and uh, and he's ready to go, and uh, he's healthy, and that's the main thing with him. So, yeah, hope to hope to get him out here and put him in action in one of these games. It's got to be a great opportunity for your kids to get to play at Wrigley Field later on this year. Yeah, that's going to be great. Uh, j- let's see, July 29th. Uh, Peoria is playing Kane County at, at Wrigley Field, so that'll be a, a big kick for these guys, I know. And uh, I'll look forward to being back there and being on the field in, uh, in a different spot, you know, right there at the third base coaching box <laughs> and in the dugout. So we'll see how that goes. That'll be a little different look for me. And uh, we watch the games uh, in, in the locker rooms. Uh, we have the Cubs games on. I know these guys, a lot of them are, are younger players, but... Um, I just uh, just try and picture what what they would think about going there and playing because uh, I know when I was 22 as a rookie and stepped onto a uh, a major league field like they had major league stadium, uh, you know I was in awe of it and um, and once I did, I knew that's where I wanted to be. So maybe maybe a game like this will give these guys a, a boost and a little taste of uh, what become on their what what could become on their way if they if they work hard and uh, and make it all the way to Chicago. How much have you grown as a manager? Might have already been posed at you. Pardon me for asking if it has. Uh, how much have you grown as a manager between the last time we saw you and now? You've got a lot of more games under your belt. Yeah, it makes a, it makes a lot of difference. Uh, you know, having a game every day is uh, is what this is all about. And there's a lot to be learned when you play 140 games and have that under your belt. So, going into this year, much more comfortable and confident on what I have to do, and uh, still uh, experiencing. Uh, uh, a learning situation here and trying to get uh, get as much out of it as I can and kind of as a player I always went to the ballpark to learn something so I'm kind of doing the same thing in this role. That was my follow-up you liking it as a player do you, do you get in a groove similar to what you did at second base those great years with the Cubs do you get in your managerial groove? If the guys are playing well I do <laughs> if they're not playing too well it's uh, it's a slump so uh, <laughs> Similar thing. It's a roller coaster. You know what? It's a little bit more dramatic uh, in this role because it's not about if if I had an individual good game with three hits and two home runs, and um, you know this is about wins and losses and uh, and 25 guys. So it's a little bit different, um, but it is uh, it's a, it is uh, competitive. It uh, it is it's competition and it's 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 fun in the end. Ryan, you have to go through something like this. At every stop, I presume, is it easier this time around, or is it something you seek to avoid or would rather not do? Or do what? Interviews like this. Oh, I've been doing this for 30 years. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, an, I'm an old pro. <laughs> <laughs> is it easier this time around? In the this is nothing like Chicago. I was using Chicago yesterday on Wrigley <laughs> Field. It's all, it's. I've, I've been doing this a long time. You're, you're at ease doing it. Oh yeah. I know a little bit more what to talk about this year than last year, as far as managing goes, and I know I know uh, what it uh, in, what it entails. So I think maybe a little bit more knowledge, knowledgeable this year about what I'm doing than last year. Did Todd Blackford have elbow surgery? Did he have Tommy surgery? I don't know that. He's just come. He's just come back from uh, from some from something. He had a good year two years ago. Two years ago, yeah. And he was in Daytona a little bit last year, so uh, we're glad to have him, and uh, we'll get him in there. Yep. He could get in this series. Out of the we'll, see, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want you to tell. I don't want to tell you all my secrets here. <laughs> Thank, Thank you very much. Thanks a lot.